Hi everyone, I'm from Water Simulation, so I work with Rosie and also Leonie as well um, at Water Simulation. So as we've heard from Leonie, a large part of our work involves going out to uh, remote environments, whether it be clinical or non-clinical, and delivering training out of our centre. So in our centre we live stream all of our scenarios to a debrief room, and we want to be able to replicate that when we're going out to other environments. So about four years ago, we had a rig which involved a Canon DSLR camera that we were live streaming to a laptop through USB chains, um, and that I think gave us about 60 metres of uh, distance. And then for our audio stream, we were using a boom mic which we wired into a mixing desk, uh, and we were outputting that through speakers, and sometimes we were using a projector as well. So it provided a sort of solid solution, um, but it was quite cumbersome to transport, there's a lot of equipment, and also it was a one camera view as well. So as a sort of need to deliver training in more challenging environments and uh, engage with primary care sort of arisen over years, we've sort of streamlined the kit. Uh, we found a piece of software called Wirecast, which works very much like a video switcher, it enables us to sort of input a number of cameras into the software whether it be an iPhone or a DSLR camera, any camera that can connect to a network, we can use with this software. So it's, it's served us really, really well. And our audio can also go through that as well. So the kit is streamlined from a big flight case to um, literally a laptop, a router, um, and also uh, just a few other bits and bobs as well. Um, so what results have we seen from that? We've seen actually, we've been able to now use a number of different uh, environments when we're going out to centres. We can use a number of different spaces. So as previously we had one camera and one room, now we can use multiple spaces from multiple angles, angles as well. The, the setup is also much more discreet and we think that has an effect on the participants in the morning. They're not really noticing the cameras. When they come to our centre, they're immediately commenting on the cameras and sort of that side of things. Um, we've also found that the HD streaming means that participants who are observing can watch more closely what's going on, particularly in mental health, where non-verbal communication is almost as important as verbal communication as well. Uh, and also, the, I think the reduction in equipment is also meant we can go to more sort of risky, high-risk locations like secure psych psychiatric units and not worry about running cabling and the doors as well. So there's definitely been a lot of benefits, and I think one of the most important ones for us is the, the byproduct of that system, uh, which is the ability to use a patient view camera. So you can see our actor here, uh, Marcel's wearing a trap hat with it. It's actually got a little iPhone hidden inside of it. And um, we can stream that to the debrief room with our other cameras. Um, and we found that's quite a useful tool for building an empathetic approach. Uh, we have scenarios where patients in a seclusion review the police might be involved, ambulance, uh, and also mental health staff, DSN nurses. So, um, and the patient feels quite boxed in. So we found that really useful addition and, and also for promoting care when dealing with patients. So generally we think the implementation of a more streamlined kit can help the team to work more responsibly in different environments, engage with primary care. And also there's, um, I think the scope of what can be simulated is also improved as well by quite a bit. Um, and also I think further research can look into what a more agile set setup could help bring um, to the sim world. Thank you very much.